Welcome back to our YouTube channel, guys, and welcome back to another behind the sound video on the absolutely stunning Lamborghini Huracan. If you are new to our channel, haven't seen us before, hit that subscribe button. But also remember, guys, we've got a massive 10K subscriber giveaway. Link for that is in the description below. Today's video is a bit more of a detailed product overview, where stuff's gonna be placed, and also how we're actually gonna be doing this system. This is an absolutely phenomenal level of quality of product and also the install that's gonna be done is gonna be beyond anything you've probably seen on YouTube before. So what we're doing in terms of the system is we've got three amplifiers to mount inside the front tub area. However, that is no easy task. Basically inside the tub, not only are we very, very limited for room, but also actually airflow inside this tub as well is becoming very, very limited. And we've got to work out a way to actually get these three amplifiers in. But these three amplifiers are not small amplifiers. They are class A, B amplification. They are the Audison Thesis range. So what Carl's doing at the moment is actually using a template currently that actually allows for the actual original exact spec of the thesis size wise the thesis amplifier to basically be mounted inside here so the thesis amplifier here this is the thesis duo so we've got two of these going into the system these are incredible incredible amplifiers so there's two of these going in and then one Audison thesis uno going in as well so they're basically all gonna be mounted as three amplifiers in this space. It is gonna take up literally the whole entire tub because not in case of size wise, but main thing is airflow inside there. So we're having to build and construct panel work to actually allow it to sit in there, but also allow for maximum airflow inside of there to keep everything very cool because these are class A amplification. They get very, very hot. So it's very important that that all stays cool inside that area to as much as possible. Then we're gonna have physical cable runs all the way through, through the dashboard and into the new, directly into the new speakers. They've got a phenomenal range of speakers going into the car. So we've got Custom A-pillar is going to be built. We'll do a full separate video on custom fabrication of the A-pillars and we'll be doing loads more videos on this actual full system. So to start off with, we're going to talk about the tweeters. The tweeters currently basically sit in the corner of the dashboard here. What we're actually doing, this isn't a brilliant location for a tweeter to be mounted in. So what we're actually be doing is building custom A-pillars to move the sound, move the trajectory of that sound wave inside the vehicle and direct that directly to the driver. They are gonna now have the Audison Thesis tweeters, an incredible set. They're all gonna be retrimmed in Milano and then also sprayed black. So it all blends in really, really nicely into the vehicle and gives a very, very stealth look. So they're gonna be on custom A-pillars directed to the driver then inside the actual door card itself as you can see here we've done a bit of soundproofing work already so inside here you've got soundproofing which we'll touch on on a full video that goes through everything in a lot more detail but the soundproofing reduces rattles resonation also builds a far better acoustic environment for the sound system to work in but also gets rid of some of that road noise on this vehicle we're also soundproofing the roof the floor the back the doors every inch of this car is going to be soundproof to build a far better environment for that new sound system to work in. Inside the stock location, I mean, this is so, so light. You can tell by the size of the magnet. Look at the size. It's, it's just, in some ways, just embarrassing, really, on a car like this. You've got this into a stock location. This is the factory plug. So the bracket basically screws in into stock location. So one thing that we want to always do on any install is try to arrange as much originality of the car as possible behind the scenes. Obviously, cosmetically from the outside, we're going to have a visible difference from the front end, plus the rear shelf that's going to be on there as well. So inside here, what we've got is that as the original speaker. What we're gonna be mounting is the Audison Thesis speaker, which is actually looks like a very stock look finish. How have we actually done that? This is in a custom 3D printed baffle. As you can see, the difference of the magnet from the actual speaker. This is the factory speaker from the Lamborghini Huracan, and this is the Audison Thesis sax. What we've actually done is fully 3D printed a design that allows for the retention of the mesh grill, but also allows for massive, massive difference in the actual component quality itself. So that will basically, in essence, be sitting in the stock location like so. And we've also got a put area on here that actually allows for the factory mesh grill to sit on top of there. Plus also that factory loom is gonna go away. We're gonna be running fresh cables into the door, which we'll head over to the other side shortly in the video and you'll see where the cables are run into. But that's inside the door itself. Then what we've actually managed to do 
is or what we're going to be able to be able to do is mount two subs behind the seat obviously as this being an evo it's got the hard top we've got a rear shelf to work with to add in our subs and what the customer's gone for is something incredible again what we've gone for is two hertz Mille legend subs so it's not a sub that's overly used in the industry but as you can see here you can tell just by the size of the actual product itself it is phenomenal so this is actually an eight inch sub that we're using the magnet is just immense and actually i'm struggling to hold it and it is a two-handed thing to do um it's it's just an incredible bit of kit here so these are two subs going to be going in this is the one on the driver's side one on the passenger side behind each seat and then we're going to have a custom lamborghini logo in between the seat so if you're looking at the car from the outside all you're going to see is just the Lamborghini logo. You're not actually going to be able to see the subs at all. It's going to look phenomenal. And we're just going to build up that shelf area and use that space for those subs. And it's going to rock. We've got massive, massive base. We've got loads of clarity from the Autosynthesis front end, plus the power that this system and the quality that this system is going to deliver. It's going to be so, so far beyond anything manufacturers can produce. It is going to be absolutely insane. So with the soundproofing then, the actual, this is actually a sheet from skin. So this is a three mil layer that's basically gonna be applied to key areas over the vehicles. So we're gonna be covering the doors as you've seen. We'll also be covering the floor, the back behind the seats, as well as the roof panel. The roof panel has actually been a little bit of a challenge because the actual, uh, in terms of the material that actually gets stuck to the roof lining is basically using an adhesive and there's no other panel work that covers that. So what we're actually doing is taking that off, take quite a bit of time to do so. Then we're gonna be applying the three mil layer up on top of that area and then refitting the original Lamborghini Huracan roof back onto there, which basically gets rid of some of this tinny noise, which is gonna be a real, real difference in terms of sound and output that we're gonna be having from the system. We've got a load more power going in, plus we've got a load of bass coming in behind those seats, plus obviously that clarity as well. That cabin needs to be a really, really sealed environment. That's exactly why we use products like Skins. So we're gonna head over to the other side of the vehicle now, and we're actually gonna be talking a little bit more about the processor, as well as about the actual wiring inside the vehicle. So in terms of the wiring, we're using connections, uh, Cabling, which basically is a very high quality cable run that basically runs directly to individual components. However, inside here, you've actually well, got cable tied neatly done, but also all taped up alongside manufacturer wiring in the same material and same tape that is actually used by Lamborghini themselves. So everything is done behind the scenes to the highest possible standards. It's all loomed in correctly alongside manufacturer spec through the vehicle. And obviously this side, as you can see, has been soundproof, but also still retaining certain key elements for serviceable items as well, which makes it a lot, lot easier for anyone to service the vehicle later on. So we're not blocking anything like that. The other cool thing that we've done is actually started on the process of installing the actual processor itself. So the processor is mounted upside down at the moment. However, that is the Audison Virtuoso. Basically, it's one of the highest spec processors you guys can buy. They are phenomenal. It's actually what I run in my car currently as well. So the Virtuoso processor not only allows for a DRC to be added in, which basically allows sub-level control but also you can actually have a and b presets preset made which we're going to be doing on the tuning system which we'll do a full video on as well just alone on the tuning system because that is an immense part of the system and that will be basically all installed into the vehicle and you've got a little control that you can control everything from different presets different eqs and that's all done by the processing power of this product obviously when we're running this level of thesis amplification it's very important that the processor then power processing power is then up to scratch as well and this is the perfect product for it we're running actual ac and ad link into and through the vehicle to the processor we're running what's called a full da system so it's all digitally controlled cable runs that we're going to run ac and dc link in so a very very important part of the system is that processor that is going to be hidden away you're not going to be able to see that system but a very very vital part of it and um, also behind here as I mentioned before, we're going to be building in the custom enclosures for the two subs that we mounted in here. And then the actual processor is actually wired into the vehicle. But rather than splicing into the actual factory harness, what we've actually built is and designed as a T-harness for the Lamborghini Huracan of this year that actually allows for us to basically use that as a T-harness so we're not splicing into the factory wiring loom as pickup feeds, which is a really cool, important part of the system as well. It's not a problem to do that necessarily, but on this occasion, we've been able to source the right parts needed to build our own harness to actually allow for that. That has to be done on the vehicle while the vehicle's in with 
us. However, we get customers from all over the UK, all over the world, drop their cars off to us to have installations done. So if you are interested in something like this, you know exactly what to do, guys. Drop us a message on any of our social media platforms, get in touch with us, and we're more than happy to advise on get, either getting the car from abroad over to us or getting the car in from the UK. So we've got loads of different methods of getting the cars over to us to have the sound systems done. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. You've seen loads more content on the car and there's plenty more to come, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. We'll see you soon.